In this lecture, we're going to see how to configure and use PG Backrest. These are several steps that we will be using in this demo. We're going to install PG Backrest and change the default configuration file. Then we're going to change the permissions for this as discussed. Next, we're going to modify the Postgres settings. As we have seen before, there are some settings that need to be modified at Postgres level, and then we need to restart Postgres. Step 3 is creating a stanza and validating it, and taking the backup. And step 4 will be deleting the data directory and showing a restore. Now let's start with step 1, which is installing PG Backrest and changing the default configuration file. We have all of our commands already here. We're just going to copy and paste from this document. This will be provided in the documentation for you so you can replay the procedure yourself. Keep in mind that this is just for Ubuntu, but the process pretty much should be similar, although there might be slight variations depending on the operating system flavor, but generally should be similar. Once this is done, our next step is to do the apt update. Once we've completed steps 1 and 2, we need to update this, and then once that is done, we just need to do the install. Now that we've used the command to install PG Backrest package for us, that is completed. Now let's verify that the installation is done. We can run this version command. Here we can see the PG Backrest version is 2.4, so the installation has completed successfully. The next step, as we discussed, is changing the default PG Backrest config point. With the install, we get the default template of the configuration file. This is our default template here. We would need to change this with our custom settings. First thing we want to do is to create a backup, just in case we need to refer to it in the future. Next what we're going to do is modify this file here. We're going to be removing everything that comes by default. Next, we copy and paste from our document. This is all of our content for our config file, so we'll be copy and pasting this here. The PG1 path is the data directory. There's a Postgres data directory from where it backs up, and then here is the backups directory. We're going to change this to postgre SQL. This way, the backups will be stored in this path under Backups. Once that is done, be sure to save. Now we've completed Step 1 by installing PG Backrest and modifying the default config file. Next we need to make sure that this exists here, and we need to make sure that the permissions are correct for it. Here we can see PG Backrest is owned by Postgres. This means we should not run into any errors. We can also see that the ownership for the Postgres user is here as well. Next, for step 2, we need to modify the Postgres settings. These are the Postgres settings we want to be focusing on. The archive command, archive mode, wall senders, and wall level. We need to change these settings, so that's what we'll do next. For the sake of the demo, I'm changing this here in the autoconf file, but note that you can change in the Postgres file as well. These are the settings we're applying. Archive command, archive mode equals on, max wall senders, and wall level. 
Once these are changed, you would need to restart Postgres. Now that Postgres is restarted, we can check the status and see that it is running. Our next step is to do a stop and then a start. Once the restart is done, we want to verify whether it got the settings that we just applied. We're going to use an archive command here. Here we can see that the changes were applied. This is one of the settings, but the other settings are also in place, which is what we want. At this point, we've completed steps 1 and 2. Next, let's move to step 3. Step 3 is creating the stanza, and making sure that it's working properly, and won't run into any errors. Here we'll do pg backrest stanza, demo stanza, stanza create. And luckily, there were no errors, and it was successful as you can see. Our next step is to check the stanza, which can be done using this command. Here we'll check, and we can see that it was successful. Now our final step is to take the backup. We can use this command here. Here we can see the backup is successful, and there were no errors. So the installation and configuration of PG Backrest is done. In the next lesson, we're going to see the restore scenario. We're going to drop the database and try and restore and see if it works.